Oh boy, I'm excited to see what lies beyond this door. I mean, I've solved everything. Let's check it out. What does this button do? It gives me a puzzle, a door-esque puzzle. Well, these are all filled in, so none of these is... This is right. Ah! What did I do? Oh my god. What have I done? Unveiled the secret staircase, the third choice. Bring me to a, a beautiful paradise land. Whoa, all right, what lies here? What is this? Oh, you drag. <laughs> you drag and drop. Oh, I've seen this before. I, I've seen like so many of these broken lands. I love this. You drag and you drop the things. I can't control any anything else. Just drag and drop. Drag and drop. It's beautiful. Solved. Does that actually do something? That does create the bridge to the mines. For the special bonus house. More drag and drop. This is a very funny uh, subversion. This is deceptively easy though. Ah, so it's got to solve all the puzzles. Of course it does. So I feel like I would want these two to be together. Then this could work, this would work. And then bring... No. I mean, these could stay the same. Already the first two were stomping me. I feel like I gotta choose here. Well, this works. And this works. So does it work for a third? Eh, it's not that close, actually. Got some ways to go. Well, these two are always together. And these two are always the other. So I think I've got two of them right. So these must come out. Well, these two are always together. There's always something here. So maybe I could pull this out instead. Yeah, maybe there's just one more set of two. Oh, good God. How do I even begin to logic this out? This is messed up. Cruel. Unusual punishment. Here's an idea. Here's an idea. How about I start looking for all of the cells that are always in a section. Always in a section. Never an island of one. Well, surely that's a lot of them. I've highlighted all the cells that are always in the section. That is not narrowed down at all. Just prevent some stuff on the right side. This cell is the only lit cell in a section. Look for cells that at any point are the only lit cell in a section. Do they exist? Uh, I guess it's just that one. Here's an idea. The very two in the top left are always on. So I want to see if I try those and then unmark any cell that shares a group with them at any point, which is quite a few of them. I wonder if I can do these two, move a ton, and then do these two and these two. Does that work? No, it does not. Here's my problem. I think I started solving this weirdly again. It can't be these two, actually. I guess we can prove that, but it doesn't mean it could be, couldn't be one or another. What I should be tackling is the smaller groups, because those I could at least eliminate entirely. Next, I want to try these two in the middle. That would mean one of these three needs to be one. I mean, it doesn't rule anything out just yet. I believe it's got to be this one. And then one of these two has to be it. Can't be this one. Can't be these at all. Yeah, then one of these, this one specifically would have to be one. Then I have this group, which uh, narrows down so many. So many, I believe it forces one here and here. And then two, last two in this group, which might actually work. Hold on. Is this the solution? Bam. Bam. Holy shit. <laughs> that was a cool effect. Okay, I saved the mine. Where else? Bring on the these. Okay. I have a group of six and ten. Well, six, ten. This one's easier. It's just addition. What kind of weird puzzle drag and drop do I have here? So again, it's got to satisfy all of them. That's messed up. So I have one through eight in order. So this adds up to 36 exactly. Well, how about I add up these individual sections? Two. Well, the only way to get to two is by having two. So I think we have to start with the two here. Three is right here. Three can only be achieved via... O Oh, three or a two plus one. And it can't be here, so it has to be here or here. So one of these two hold the three. So next, one of these four hold a four. 
Now that one's harder to work with. How do I know which of these is a four? Well, I can still mark it. One of them's a four. There's two spots with a six. So actually one of them's for the five and one and the other's for the six. Five and one and six. So the eight must go in here and the seven must go in here. And the four must go into the section of 12. So in addition to the four will be eight. Eight has to exactly be here or here then. <sighs> Damn it, it could still be either one. How about I do some unmarking right now? So these are the potential spots for a seven. Although if the seven goes in one of these two, this is a section eight, I would have to have the one be here or here, which again could work. Oh, but it wouldn't work for these three. Yeah, if the seven went in one of these three, the one could not be in any of the other spots. So it's not there. Seven's here or here. Well, actually, because seven's in this section, that means the one is here or here. The one can't be here because I've determined the eight is here or here already, which completes this section, leaving this as my one. So that means the five is in one of these. Okay, let's check out the other spots. If the five were here, five plus one, and then I would need two. Five cannot be here. I would need, no, I would need a three for this section. And the three is in one of these. What about here? Well, same goes. I don't think five can be in any of these. So five actually has to be right here. Five being right here solves a lot. Tells me that the four has to be in this section. And it's also in this section, so the four is right here. And also tells me that the three has to be in this section. So one of these two is the three. So I've marked everything but the six. Six is in one of these, well, six. Six is not here or here. It is in one of these four. Six is not one of these two. Well, so now I just need to pick something that works. Since nothing, I, I've marked out all the numbers, eight has to go here just to make nine, to get rid of those. Three can't go here, there's already nine, so this is where the three must be. So then three plus six, six must go here. That's not the six, this is the six. So then the seven must go here, and that's correct. Correct, correct. I love that effect. It's so gooey. Oh, the big spirit tree. So what, I'm halfway done then? Oh yeah, I guess I'm halfway done with this area. What do I have next? The slashes. The hash slinging slashes. So I would go minus here, minus here, slash minus here. This is gonna be a tricky one to do. Multicolored slashes. Very interesting. So the only repeating pattern in this section are the three elbows. No, I guess this middle thing's a big rotating pattern. Yeah, I guess all these could be a pattern. It can't be part of this four bend. There's no matching four bend anywhere. So I'm gonna just mark the cells in which nothing can go. It would not be possible for any piece to go here because it would need a matching one. This is the rotational point. It also could not be here as this is the rotational point. This is also the rotational point. That's all I could eliminate. How about here? Well, this point in the stairs corresponds with this point in the stairs. And since there can't be anything here, there can't then be anything here. And same goes with the absolute corner. And then this funky shape has its mirror here. So because there can't be anything here, there can't be anything here because there can't be anything in each of these two, there can't be anything here or here. I think this is just a one by one and it's the only one by one on this board. So it can't be here. What about this elbow macaroni? This doesn't seem to have anything like it. So none of these three are good either. Let's check out this third one. This is a one by one. Well, the only other one by one is right here, which is no good. So this is also no good. Then I gotta rule out this one by three because I'm pretty sure it's the only one in this section and the symmetry is gone and the other one by three is gone now. So goodbye. And now I make it back. Anything else gone? These seem legit, any gone in here? The one by three doesn't work anymore. So I can get rid of the last piece of it. The big S piece doesn't work anymore so I can get rid of this piece. Uh, this piece gets rid of that piece. Well, the elbow macaronis both have this same corner gone, which corresponds to this corner. So good night, sweet prince. And what does this have to do? Well, it gets rid of a part on the stepping stairs, which is here. So two spots. This corresponds to the last two by one, but this two by one, I guess, could actually have 
both of the slashes in it and be perfectly valid. Well, I realize this two by one up here doesn't work anymore. Or one by two, where would the other one be for this? So goodbye. And that gets rid of the tip of the staircase. Another one gone. Elbow macaroni tip gone. And it's gone for another one too, which means the third one it can disappear for. So this spot is just another square elimination. Here, it's of an L piece, which I think second one is gone. Yeah, the second one has it's gone, so the third one can disappear now. This spot, another square elimination. And oh, that gets rid of something in the big piece, which means I can get rid of this corner or this edge, almost the corner, which is another square elimination, and gets rid of the two by one, finally. This one will no longer have a partner, so I can get rid of this one, which eliminates yet another square piece. Still can do squares, somehow. Uh, this gets rid of an elbow bend. Ooh, but I could still do elbow macaroni. Here's the thing, though. I've gotten rid of a lot. Do I have six yet? I have one, two, three... Four, five, and six. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have it. So I do white in the matching two. I do blue in the matching two. Whoops. And then yellow in the final matching two. This works. This works. Beautiful. Oh, that was a very fun puzzle to do. That was probably the best of them so far. Well, final one for now. Who knows what surprises may bring. Flowers, of course. Well, this has to be a two flowery. And a one flower could go here, four flower could work here, none flower would work here, and this flower would work here. Flowers are going to be interesting. I, th I mean, I think there's a lot I can wear out. Wait, there's two floors this? No, it's just more gardens. Same kind of puzzle again. It's only a five by five, thank god. So I think I have to go piece by piece on this. I'm going to start with the all golden flowers. How many spots, even on this board, work with all goldens? Here? Wait, that's it. That's it. It has to go here. And thankfully, it is that easy. Okay. How about the nun matching? Well, I have here. I have here. It's going to be a lot more common on the edge. Strangely, that is it? So it has to be the corner. Oh, I guess it could have been here. And it still can? Oh, wait. That's because this is wrong. You know, it is this corner. I just missed it. Good thing I caught it really quickly. Next up, one matching. Well, there's a few more options for that. Here, 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 here and here, I guess. One matching, yes. Two matching, no. Two matching, no. Two matching, no. One matching, yes. Two matching, no. One matching, yes. Two matching, no. Two matching, no. Two matching, no. And then, none matching, no. One matching, yes. Two matching, no. So it's right here. And check that it's right. So look for two matching. Two matching, yes. Two matching, yes. Two matching, yes. Two matching. Three, two, one, four, two, 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 one, one. It's a lot. This has three, no, one, no, one, no, one, no, two, yes, two, yes, two, yes. Oh, I've missed one to check. This is a three matching. That's a no. This is one matching, no, three matching, and then two matching. Get in the corner. And last but not least, the three matching. There's actually not too many on this board. There's one here. There's one here. Is that it? Yeah, I believe that's it. So down to these two. One matching, three matching. It's right here. So send it. Send it. Send it. Well, that's all of them. What is revealed in the center? It's a one by one, just like the very beginning. What a beautiful tree. Oh my god. Well, do I stand here? Press the button. What? Everything is agreed? What? I'm making a black hole? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if this is a puzzle or just an action sequence. All right, suck up the, the panels. Let's get them all. Let's get everything. I'm the void. That's a fun way to end it. I actually love the effects on this. Well, damn. Oh, my cursor became a sun. Uh, an expanding sun? A large sun.
Bro. Oh, okay, we're okay. In fact, that actually did good. Well, that was a beautiful game. We're not done yet because I want to get 100% puzzles, but something tells me we're pretty close to capping this off. And I, I expect I'm going to finish it off this episode, but who knows? It, it might be tough. It might be a lot more to do. Huh, it appears the only way out, out is to uh, load a save. This game was, in fact, inspired by The Witness. So, I've heard there are 445 puzzles in total, and I've solved 421. So, let's find the other 24, and I don't know if that last one actually counts as one. I know there's three that I haven't solved. Let's start with one. One that's been plaguing me since episode one. And that would be this puzzle. With a new set of eyes and a partial degree in puzzle fuckery, maybe I can solve it once and for all. There's a big 11 high pillar, which corresponds to this pillar over here, which is still underwater, so my theory of it moving is wrong. Um, new theory, I have to just guess what's underwater. Maybe this, what I'm looking at, is in fact just a protrusion. So this goes three, and then a break, and then two, and then a break, one, and then a break of like two or three or something like that, then a protrusion at the bottom. The only thing that's, that doesn't really line up with the protrusions on this, but maybe I could just ignore it for now. So I'm just gonna write down what I see in the other one and then reverse it. And this is what I see. So it's not gonna be the same. It's gonna be what the other one is missing, which would look like this, which is wrong. Well, there's always the idea that there's actually a lot underwater. And this is a gap of two, which corresponds to the gap of two on the other pillar or the protrusion of two on the other pillar. And then these are above. Because the other pillar is cut off, who knows how tall it really could be. So I fill in these correctly, and then there's a gap of one, and then a gap of two. Holy shit, finally. <laughs> uh, it's done. Uh, too bad that doesn't immediately unveil more puzzles. But I do it to find where the rest of the puzzles are. Maybe they're connected to the mine somehow. Maybe there's another secret area. What if I run all the way back to the beginning? Will I find any new puzzles here? I mean, there's eyes down here. Kind of looks like there should be something. Probably because there is. There's a little platform down here. You totally can get in this. Like, I did the T piece and everything shifted down. So what if I do, like, a backwards T to bring it back up? I think I'm willing to brute force to see if anything brings it back up. Oh. That's the one. I... I wonder why, but this is certainly a new area. Oh, hold on. What the? Oh my God, what? What is this? I have no idea what this is. 